Hey everybody, welcome to Always Bored, Never Boring. People who subscribe to my channel may have been expecting to see a video on painting poxwalkers today. That video is coming. I'm probably going to upload it this weekend as extra content, but it kind of got pushed back a little bit because I have just received my latest bundle of Warhammer 40,000 Conquest goodies. And as some people may know, I've been waiting for these for a long time. I have received issues 71 to 74 inclusive, and I have also received this silver templars painting guide set this is a guide some miniatures some paints some transfers all good stuff the painting guide itself is specifically for painting silver templars but obviously it's useful for anybody really because it covers things like painting armor painting skin tones painting weapons even applying transfers when i first saw this I wasn't immediately rushing to get it. Um, this is actually an additional purchase. You have to pay for this extra on top of your subscription and it actually cost 35 pounds. Previous additional purchases from this subscription I have found lacking. I thought the Silver Templars Codex they did was incredibly overpriced, um, just lacking in good content. And the art book was nice enough, well produced, but um, it just didn't really excite me that much. Most of the artwork was stuff I'd seen before and it just, you know, it was, it was something of nothing really. This additional purchase, it's a different story. This additional purchase is fantastic. It really is good and at £35 is an exceptional deal. It works out way cheaper than buying the contents separately and also it includes some exclusive contents. I've already seen people selling these kits on eBay for more than £100 and even at that price, um, you, you can't really complain for the contents you're getting. We're going to look through it. I'm going to gonna show you everything that comes in it. I'm going to give you my thoughts. We'll go from there. First of all, it comes in this sort of um, pizza box type thing. It's probably the best thing to come in a pizza box since pizza. So this is how it comes in the post. I have already opened the book and flicked through it, um, checked all of my contents and everything else, just to get a general feel for what was in here before I actually did the video. Um, but this is basically how it's presented. Uh, you've got your book here. Underneath the book, you have the Primaris Lieutenant or Lieutenant miniature. And then paints here. There's actually more paints just out of camera shot there. Um, Three extra loose paints just rolling around for fun. Um, sprue of intercessors and then under the sprue, the transfers. So I'm going to go through each thing first. I'm going to tell you the value of, that we're getting here. Um, I'm going to compare it to retail prices. If you were to go into Warhammer store and buy these paints, these miniatures from Warhammer, we'll do a little comparison there and you can see what kind of value you're getting for your money. First things first, let's talk about these miniatures. You get one large frame of Primaris Intercessor Marines. And these are not the Marines that come in the starter sets like Dark Imperium. These are the full kits, the really modular ones with all the extra bits that you can stick on. Fully customizable. Um, you can make these in lots of different ways. You actually get five Marines on the sprue. If you were to buy these, in a Warhammer store, you get two frames like this in a box for £35. So right there, straight away, we're looking at £17.50 worth of miniatures on this frame. And you can make them with a choice of weapons. You can give them regular bolt rifles. You can give them uh, auto bolt guns or stalker pattern rifles. Um, what do people think? Let me know in the comments which you think the best option is from those. Uh, I've, I don't actually have any of this type of intercessor. All of my intercessors are the um, less customizable ones from the starter sets. So this is my first my first go with the uh, much more sophisticated frame. This is probably more complicated than anything you're actually getting in Conquest Magazine itself. It's got lots of different options. It's even got... Um, a studded shoulder pad. Big fan of the studded shoulder pad. That'll be going on one of my guys. Um, but there we go. 
I think my biggest problem with the stalker pattern rifles is that uh, from a distance, at a glance, they don't look much different to the regular bolt rifles. Uh, these are the uh, the regular attachments. These are the stalker patterns. You can see they've just got uh, more advanced scopes on them. But anyway, there we go. It's a five-man squad. Lots of head options. Enough for everybody to have a helmet. So you're also getting this Lieutenant miniature. And this miniature, believe it or not, retails at Warhammer for £20. That is absurd to me. Um, it's well overpriced in my mind. But, you know, it's Games Workshop. If you play the game, you have to accept the prices. So, you can already see that from these miniatures, the five-man Intercessor Squad and this Lieutenant here, you're already getting... £37.50 worth of miniatures, which, considering you pay £35 for this box, you're already making a saving against retail. Um, there's no options or anything with this guy. He is what he is. Um, he's a very nice miniature, but yeah. I think it's one of those things, when you talk about uh, the savings against retail price, you kind of have to factor in the fact that a lot of people would say that everything's too expensive at retail anyway, which kind of blows out the figures when you talk about savings but of course those are the figures you have to deal with those are the prices that you would normally have to pay unless you can get online discounts from third-party retailers next up you get paints and you actually get 13 pots of paint um, which is a lot of paint and just looking through the prices of these we've got uh we've got caliban green which retails for 275 um, you got moot green again. That's two seventy-five. We've got a different texture paint. This is uh, different to the Astro Granite that they have been providing with the magazine. So this is Sterling Mud. This is four seventy-five a pot. Next, we've got Storm Shield. Storm Shield is actually a matte varnish. It's a paint-on varnish. I have never used Storm Shield. I have used. Uh, paint on varnishes from other companies so interested to know what people think of storm shield whether it's actually a good protective thing or not i guess the main reason they've included it is because it's useful um, when applying transfers as well for sealing transfers on but you can paint your whole miniature with this um, to give it extra protection uh, we have morn fang brown uh, 275 so that was 475 i can't remember if i said that uh, 275 here and um, what else have we got i can't see uh, Screamer Pink, 275. Uh, Fire Dragon Bright, 275. Balor Brown, 275. Screaming Skull, 275. Pink Horror, 275. Administratum Grey, 275. Balthazar Gold, 275. Avalanche Sunset, 275. That's a lot of paint. Um, and again, a great discount on buying these. The good thing for me is that there's actually quite a few uh, paints here that I didn't have or needed uh, top-ups of, which is good. I think apart from Avalon Sunset and maybe the Browns, I think everything else there is stuff I needed, which is fantastic. Good stuff. So that's everything that actually has a, a retail value. That's everything that isn't exclusive to this box. And already we are looking at a value of £77.25. If you were to buy all of this stuff in Warhammer, that is what you would be paying. Huge savings on this box. I'm incredibly impressed with the value. I'm impressed with the whole package, really. It's fantastic. But that's also not all you get because we've got some exclusive Silver Templar transfers and the exclusive Silver Templars painting guide as well. So this is the exclusive transfer sheet. Um, at the moment, this is the only place you can get this. It's got lots of stuff on here. We've got chapter symbols. We've got a Reaver chapter symbols. We have battle line, close support, fire support, veterans, um, command badges, squad numbering, campaign badges, Vehicle transfers down here. All the stuff you would expect on a transfer sheet. Being exclusive, 
um, I have already seen these popping up on eBay. And believe it or not, I have actually seen single sheets selling on eBay for £40 or more. So um, there's obviously some people out there doing Silver Templars that do not subscribe to Conquest Magazine um, or didn't get this box set and really want these transfers. Um, good news for me. Actually, I don't know whether I'm going to sell these or keep these or what. I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. But um, uh, I got I got two. I don't know if everybody got two. But I was expecting one sheet. I got two sheets. So uh, yay me. That's more than I was expecting. So uh, maybe I can put these on eBay. Put my kids through college. Finally, we have the painting guide itself, which is very nicely produced. It's ring bound. It's got a integrated stand like one of those cookery books so you can stand it up while you're painting um, to follow the instructions step by step so it's actually um, in a in a landscape format once you get into the actual painting guide so it would stand up right like that you can follow it through step by step it's very nicely produced nicely illustrated um, very comprehensive it has other stuff besides painting in there which is good um, if we go through here, it's got a little bit of fluff. These are the characters that are actually included with this box. So you've got uh, Lieutenant Escadon and his intercessor squad, Oscus. So those are the miniatures that actually come in the box. And then we have our build instructions for those. And these are obviously very important because these are kits that are a little bit more uh, sophisticated, a little bit more advanced than most of the stuff you're getting in Conquest magazine. Um, so very detailed and obviously um, a good thing to have if this is the first time you've seen one of these uh, completely modular, customizable frames. And this is a good idea. I think this was good of them. They actually included Intercessor Squad Oscus and these are how they built them for the promotional photographs and things like that. And it actually tells you exactly which components from the frame they used. So if you're looking at that frame of stuff and thinking, oh, I don't even know where to begin, you can actually just use these component lists to create this five-man squad as that. You know you're going to get that look um, and you can be happy with that. Or you can deviate off the path and come up with your own set up your own combination of components but it's good that they included that I, I appreciate them doing that it's a, a good thing to have for people who might not have a lot of experience with frames like that next we get into the how to paint section and it's like i say very comprehensive at the start here it actually shows you all of the paints you will need for this particular painting guide it shows you which ones you have already received from your subscription and which ones are included with this set. It is worth noting that you actually, if you're following this guide exactly, you need Flayed One Flesh. Flayed One Flesh isn't in this box. They actually included uh, Mournfang Brown instead. And looking through the guide very quickly, I couldn't see Mournfang Brown being used in there. However, also, I could only see one step that required Flayed One Flesh, and it was for an extreme highlight on the face of any miniatures that don't have helmets. So I think you can quite happily leave that step off and still get really nice results. Or, you know, just pop to your shop and buy a £2.75 pot of Flayed One Flesh. I'm not particularly concerned about the fact that that one pot is missing. And then we have our step-by-step -step guide, going through base coats, um, going through shades, highlights, layers, very detailed, really nice pictures. Um, if you've been following Conquest magazine, um, you'll know they do a pretty good job of doing nice close-up pictures of things being painted so you can see exactly uh, where these different colors are being applied and this is very much the same. Um, if we look here on how to paint skin and hair, this is the only place where I saw flayed one flesh being used. You can see that they, uh, they've applied 
the Bugman's Glow, then the Cadian Flesh Tone, and then they've used a Flayed One Flesh for an extra extreme highlight. I think you can stop at that stage and still be very happy with what you've done. Or like I say, get some Flayed One Flesh if you really feel the need. But I think even at that stage, it's a very nice result. Nothing to worry about. And uh, not anything that I'm personally going to complain about considering um, what is actually included in this box. Um, the, uh, the Lieutenant gets a special section for dealing with uh, his helmet, his beads, his power sword. Nice result on the power sword there. And then there's even a section on applying transfers. It's really good that they've included that because they have never done transfers in Conquest magazine. So this may be the first time that people have used them. And it's pretty comprehensive. And then covers using your Storm Shield to actually seal those. And then we've got a section on basing miniatures using our Sterling Mud for a, a different result to what we've been getting using Astro Granite. Then we've got to look at all of the finished models. And again, if you've built your miniatures following the component recommendation from the front, this is pretty much what you got. Um, I think some people really like the Silver Templars paint scheme. Uh, I have seen people um, complaining online about it, saying it's a boring paint scheme, and now loads of people are just fielding silver marines on the table. But I think that's fine. I think they, they you know, it's a nice clean look, and it's a relatively easy paint scheme, which is fantastic for people who maybe aren't that confident with painting yet or are still learning the ropes. I think it's a good choice. Um, and, you know, it looks really nice. And silver marines are way, way better than grey plastic marines. We've even got a page here at the back showing some of the other types of marines that have been included with Conquest magazine in the Silver Templar scheme. And then, bonus goodies. There's actually a scenario in the back. I wasn't expecting any game content to come in this package. I was expecting it to be the painting guide, the paints and the miniatures with the with the transfers, but we're actually getting some some game content too. It's a hold your ground scenario. It says Lieutenant Ascadon and his men are protecting the entrance to Steelheim's Mechanicus Control Center. The Death Guard are closing in for the kill, their troops moving to surround the Silver Templars. The Ultramarines are on their way to relieve their allies, but will they be able to get there before the Death Guard capture the objective? So uh, the Silver Templars have a deployment zone in the center. Ultramarines coming in from the right, Death Guard from the left. It says, place the objective marker at the center of the battlefield in the Silver Templars deployment zone. To hold an objective, you must have more models than the enemy within three inches of it at the end of the game. If both armies have the same amount of models within three inches of the objective marker, then neither side can claim the objective. We've got a uh, Space Marine starting forces, uh, the Death Guard forces, deployment conditions, the victory conditions, eliminate the enemy warlord, one victory point. The player that holds the objective at the end of the game gains three victory points. Game lasts five battle rounds. We've even got some special mission stratagems uh, to for the Death Guard and two for the Silver Templars. So that's nice. It's nice that there's a, an extra an extra bit of game content in there, something else to try. And look at that. Even included the data sheets on the back. Special data sheets for uh, Lieutenant Escadon and the Squad Oscus. And that's it. That's your lot. That is our Silver Templars painting guide and the full Silver Templars painting kit. I have to say, for the £35 I spent on this, I am incredibly happy. I'm not personally going to paint any Silver Templars, but the painting guide is good. It's got good techniques in there for people who are, are still learning painting. That's a good product. And then the value in the miniatures and the paints is Excellent. I think anybody who pays £35 for this should really be very happy with what they've got for their money. I honestly can't really find anything to complain about. I guess that mix-up with that one pot of paint, the Flayed One Flesh being swapped out for Mornfang Brown, which doesn't appear to have a use in this particular painting guide, I guess that's a, a minor niggle that you could 
that you could have for, for this particular kit. But overall, and compared to what I've considered to be very poor value additional purchases in the past, this one is excellent. Highly recommended if you are a subscriber uh, or intending to subscribe. Um, if you have an option to get this pack, I do recommend it. But that is it from me for now. Thank you so much for watching, um, especially if you were expecting that Pox Walker painting guide, which will be coming soon. If you have enjoyed the video, please consider pressing the like button. If you have really enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing if you don't already do so. And hopefully I will see you all again very soon. Bye-bye everyone. Bye-bye.